All right, we're back. Whining with Joe, 30 second blend. We are doing the continuation of the bin fermentation. And because this is up close and personal with those bins, I'm passing on this blend to Alicia Wilbur, our enologist here at Herzog Wine Cellars. So enjoy bin fermentation, 30 second blend, Whining with Joe. Well, here we are in the cellar and we are looking at the two bins that we have outfitted with the French oak staves. We are doing two bin fermentations in the Herzog Wine Cellar's barrel cellar. We're going to inoculate one of these bins and let one bin ferment with indigenous yeast. And we're going to see how those two fermentations go. the refrigerated truck and we have just opened it up for the first time in two days and so now we're going to check the bricks or how sweet the bins are and we're going to check the temperature before we go ahead and add some nutrients and inoculate all but two of our bins. We're going to inoculate everything except for bin number two and bin number seven and we're going to track those native fermentations along with our inoculated fermentations. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit of juice out of the bins and I'm going to add it to our buckets of hydrated kosher for Passover yeast. Um, basically what we want to do, we have the yeast at about 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and we want to allow the yeast to acclimatize to the environment that it's going to be introduced to. These bins are all at about 45 degrees Fahrenheit, so it will be a little bit of a shock to the yeast to go from this environment to this environment. So to mitigate that shock, we add a little bit of juice. the bins and then we're going to put the refrigeration back on the truck and we're going to cover the bins and say goodnight. 